Tasting like a boss in the car edition, and as most of these editions are, it's impromptu. Uh, middle daughter of boss sent a message out saying that the uh, that Starbucks had their flavors. I totally forgot about that, and she's going to get the peppermint mocha. So did I get the peppermint mocha? No, I did not. Did I get one for someone else? Yes, I did. So boss of boss is going to get the surprise of a peppermint mocha. And for those people who have thought Starbucks previous cups haven't been festive enough, I think it's pretty festive. Looks like it has a little name tag, like it's a gift. Come on. I mean, what else do you want? That's pretty good. So for those people who obsess about that, I guess that'll make you happy. But today, guys, what we're really going to be doing is a chestnut praline cold brew. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's not really on the menu. You're right, it's not. They have a chestnut praline latte. I don't want a chestnut praline latte, and I've kind of gotten to a point now with Starbucks, I'm going to let you guys know up front, that when I'm tasting these things, unless I tell you otherwise, I'm going to be doing it in a way where I order it for myself. I like cold brew coffee black, so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to have some of the flavoring from those drinks. So they were they told me essentially that on the latte, what they have is they have three pumps, which is a lot, of the praline, chestnut praline flavoring. I asked them to cut it down, so I did like one and a half pumps. So it's cold brew coffee black, nothing else, no cream, with the one and a half pumps of the chestnut praline, and hopefully I don't spill this on myself because I am suited up. So here we go. Looks nice, tasting like a boss. Here we go. It's good. First off, I will say that maybe I would only do one pump, but one and a half isn't too bad. The flavoring is nice. The uh, There's a little bit of grittiness at the end. I don't know why. I'm getting more praline flavor than chestnut, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I was thinking it would be a little nuttier. You know, I know a chestnut, you know, is a different kind of flavor, but do I like it? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, although that grittiness, I, I'm still getting a sort of a, a dryness in my throat at the end of it. So it's got a little flavor to it. Uh, for my purposes, I'd rather just have cold brew coffee black. Uh, flavored coffees, I'm not into. Uh, I, I'm, no, flavored coffee beans, yeah, that's great. I, I love to do that. So for this, if I wanted to have something that's festive, would I recommend it? Sure, sure, I, I would. I think you need to know up front it's more praline oriented. And now that I think about it, I have a slight allergy to pecans. I don't, my face doesn't puff up any fatter than it normally is or anything like that. But uh, it does make my tongue kind of itch. So I wonder if that's kind of what's going on. So for those people out there who don't have a pecan allergy, yeah, I'd recommend it. So until next time, guys, keep tasting like a boss.